Oh man, I literally forgot my favorite pencil at home. There's no way this day is gonna be good. Unless I just get over it. In fact, that's actually what today is about. Hey there DSA, my name is Callie and today is National Get Over It Day. On today's show, we have a report about this national day, the word of the day, a this day in history, lunch, and announcements. Let's keep moving and not let that pencil keep ruining my day by going into today's report. So, by focusing on things that we do have control over and the things that we do not, is a great way to think about how things in our lives can affect our attitude. This paradigm is a part of the seven habits, and the word paradigm just so happens to be the word of the day. Let's go find out about the word paradigm. National Get Over Day was first celebrated in 2005, which was 18 years ago. That's old enough to vote. Speaking of dates and time, let's go find out what else happened on this day with this day in history. As mentioned earlier, there are things that we have control of in our lives. One of those things is that we don't have today's lunch. Let's go find out what's on the menu and what's happening around school. Well, that just wraps up things for today's show. Just remember not to let trivial things better you and get focused on the positive things in your life. Well, I'm Callie from Create TV. Bye. A major part of the arts at our school is the elementary art program, which just so happens to have a new teacher in that position. Ms. Jemmy Giordano is the newest addition to the DSA family, and we just had to know more about her. I um, have been painting for 40 years, um, or doing ceramics, or doing some form of art. Um, I started at a very young age. It was a wonderful therapy for me. I encourage children um, at all times to be as creative as possible whether it be through um, whatever project we're doing. And sometimes it means that they're not even actually creating. It means that they're just taking the steps to that creativity. I'm really big on allowing a child to take the project that we're working on um, and just release their emotions and their little souls onto that paper or the project, whatever we're doing, so that they feel comfortable. So it's more about just allowing the children to be creative in their own way. I like to do different different things for different classes. So kindergarten is currently working on a really fun pop art style. Um, they're like Campbell soup cans, but they're in their own interesting way. Second grade is making iridescent jellyfish, um, which are about to add to backgrounds. Um, those are beautiful. They're all done in watercolor. Uh, second grade is doing two different types of projects. The ones behind me are second grade. These are wonderful, cool, amazing paper mosaic collages. They're really, they're so fun. They're supposed to be sunflowers. Um, and some of us obviously are really great at making sunflowers and some of us are not, and that's okay. I really encourage the kids to just do what they're doing and to just love what they're doing. Second grade is also making clay sunflowers. Third grade is making clay teapots and tea sets. And fourth grade is making waves and lighthouses and 3D lighthouses. And fifth grade just finished their digital art lessons. There's no right or wrong way to be creative. It's just exciting to see them just create. <laughs> We cannot wait to see what Mr. Donna students create to decorate our halls at DSA. Good morning, DSA. Do you guys see where I am? Today is one out of the 11 days we get to celebrate the Spring Book Fair. DSA makes sure to make the book fair a very magical place to be. Hard-working adults of the PTO team work for hours to make the book fair a worldly experience. The book fair is a great place to observe for any book you may find interesting. There's almost a topic for everyone. The book fair's grand opening is today, February 21st, and it goes on to March 3rd. It will be open during school hours and on family night, which is on February 24th. Every year, the PTO has an amazing theme. This year's theme is Ohana, following with family night being Ohana theme as well. How creative is that? You should really come to the book first sometime. I promise you won't regret it. Bella, <laughs> it's Christmas. Halloween has been over for more than a month. Well, yeah, but what about the nightmare before Christmas? You do have a point. Yes. Anyways, DSA, I'm Colby the Elf. Okay then, and I'm Bella. That's it. And for today's reports, we'll be doing things to do during Christmas time, baking Christmas treats, 
word of the day, this day in history, lunch and announcements, and TV trivia. Now let's go to Isabel for her report on things to do during Christmas time. Wow, there are a lot of things to do for Christmas. Yeah. Hey Bella, what's your favorite thing to do during Christmas? What do you think? Let me guess. Watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh wow, lucky guess. Anyway, let's go get some delicious Christmas treats. All this Christmas stuff is making me feel so jovial. Um, jovial? Yeah. Jovial. Oh right, jovial. Our word of the day. Obviously. I cannot stop thinking about those Christmas cookies from earlier. Same, I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, me too. Wait a minute. Lunch. <gasps> You're right. Let's go to lunch and announcements. Oh man, there weren't any Christmas cookies. Bella, what's two plus two? Oh, okay, so it's either fish, four, or 22. There is no hope for you. Let's just go to TV trivia. It was a joke. Sure. Oh my God. That's all we have for today, DSA. Have a happy hella odd uh, Christmas. And always remember, we love you. Christmas. Look at Santa. What?